Hi, in this video demonstration we're going to take a little bit of a further look into the M-Cloth modifier uh, as we talk about uh, a lot of us really wanted to see some inflation of some solid enclosed objects. Uh, so that's what we'll do here. Uh, it'll be a quick one and uh, we'll uh, add to your knowledge of Mass Effects and M-Cloth. Uh, in order to do this we're going to need something to act as our soft body or our cloth object and we're going to need something to act as a rigid body or uh, something that uh, it can hit our cloth and actually make some of these deformations. I'm going to go ahead and create a fairly large sphere here. Uh, hop over to my modify tab. Maybe I'll just give it a radius of. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with 40. Why not? And I'm probably going to pull it up, uh, maybe a little bit above the ground level, so that it can actually sit on the ground this time. And since it is a uh, fairly solid uh, object here, an all enclosed object, uh, and this works with uh, some other models too, although you may see the inflation uh, take on some strange shapes if you go too high. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll work with this, and maybe I'll just kind of, you know, uh, scale it out in the X and the Y uh, from the top viewport just to change the original shape a little bit, so maybe we can get something more like, uh, like once it settles, uh, I don't know, a bar stool cushion or something along those lines, or a little bit muffet set on a tuffet kind of thing. Uh, other than that, let's make ourselves, uh, we can do, heck, let's do a box for this one, just for something different, huh? Uh, and I'm going to make a box, and go over to my Modify tab, and let's say 30, 30, 30, and said box can be whatever shape it likes here, or however many segments, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I like to just right click. You'll see me doing this a lot in my videos there. Uh, and, you know, come on. Making sure everything is either dead center of my animation just kind of helps things out. Not to mention, uh, I know where things are starting from. Uh, rather than having a point something, 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 something number down there. So uh, I can remember where everything was going and how best it, to attack it from there. All right, so square for our rigid body, and here's going to be our cushion. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the easy one first, the rigid body. Let's go ahead and up to our Mass Effects toolbar. Remember, if this isn't up here, right-click and make sure Mass Effects toolbar is checked. Then you should see this either here, or it'll be a floating menu or something that you can drag and drop up here if you so choose. So rigid body, we've got three types, dynamic, kinematic, and static. Dynamic is purely reactionary. Kinematic is anything you want to give a push or a little bit of an animation to. And static just sits there and doesn't react. Might repel, but that's about it. So ours is going to be a dynamic, since we just want to drop it onto this cushion here. Uh, this button is our Mass Effects tools. Uh, get used to working on the third tab in here to change any of your settings. Uh, it is really quite a lot nicer to do this because in the future if you accidentally start working over here in the modify uh, tab settings uh, and you've got more than one rigid body object you really can run into problems where you're going to have to change the settings of each individual one uh, separately. Uh, and whereas if you do it in here with all of them selected they'll all change uh, right there in front of you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave these as is right now. Uh, maybe bump the, you know, the density up to, to one just to get us going here. Uh, but we'll, uh, we can make it a little heavier than that. Uh, let's go with like five. And that'll make uh, a nice indent on our cushion here. Uh, down here uh, we're going to make this our cloth object. So I'm going to come up here and click the t-shirt button which is our M cloth modifier is going to get added to it. It also is going to be dynamic here uh, because I just want it to kind of relax, chill out on the ground here and uh, catch this uh, sphere in a cushion as though it were a very large, very square diamond of some sort. Uh, so here we go, we are ready. Now if I don't want this box to be a part of my initial animation for the cushion. If I want this cushion to kind of start relaxing uh, beforehand so I can get a nice shape out of it rather than this clearly just a little bit squashed sphere, uh, I can always come up in here and uh, click the little light bulb on my Mass Effects rigid body to turn it off and get it out of the simulation for right now. Then we can do some, some fairly interesting things uh, with our cushion here. Uh, if I come up to our Mass Effects tools, go to the second tab, uh, I can go ahead and start the simulation without an animation. And we can see 
where we're at with default values. This is a pretty stiff uh, cushion, so not all that great for, for my thoughts here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn that off, and then I'm, I jiggle this just to kind of reset everything back to normal states. If I come down here to the physical fabric properties, uh, we do have a presets here. We can go ahead and load, and it comes with all but one. You can also save your own presets. So once you find something that looks more like uh, spandex, satin, silk, etc., uh, go ahead and save those settings out. But this gets you started with this, and cotton's a pretty decent place to start for fabric. I'm just going to go ahead and select it and load those settings in. Then if I go ahead and hit this uh, play without animation button again, we get this uh, kind of sinking uh, animation as this whole cloth thing really starts to settle. Uh, and this works great if we want to start and we want to blow up a balloon or a life raft or a cushion or something like that uh, as part of our simulation or animation. Uh, the nice thing about these is uh, I can use the capture initial state button here. Now I'm hoping to make kind of a cushion and this looks more like a balloon that's got no air in it uh, kind of sitting on the ground here some kind of condom that's uh, out, of, out of gas here so this isn't what we want. We're gonna go ahead and stop that but we're getting closer. Uh, I am going to go ahead down here to the volume properties and enable balloon behavior. Uh, the amount of pressure I put in is going to be uh, dependent on, on how thick I want this cushion, on how much give I want the cushion to have here. Uh, with a 1.0, uh, if I try and settle this thing down, uh, it's going to remain fairly close to its original shape. Uh, it is a soft body object, so it's going to deform uh, some. But a pressure of 1.0 is like filling th something 100% full of air. Got a balloon 100% full of air, you can still squeeze it, and you're still going to get some deformations down here where you are squeezing it. Uh, but it's not going to change uh, completely overall. Uh, let me reset that here again. If I only fill it half full of air, or let's say point, mm, point 0.65 for the hell of it, and then start my simulation here again, uh, I'm going to get something a little bit less filled. Now we've got our balloon that's only, you know, 50% filled with air, and we've got a hell of a lot more move and give uh, going on here in this cushion uh, than we did before. Uh, when I do find a state that I kind of think looks fairly relaxed here, uh, I can go ahead and use this button up here, this Capture Initial State button. Uh, by clicking it, be sure you want to click it, uh, it will capture that state, and then when I undo and jiggle again, it's going to keep where that cushion fell to a relaxed position. Uh, on top of this, our, our sphere is a little jagged, so that we can always add a uh, mesh smooth uh, to smooth things out uh, later on. But now we've got kind of a half-filled beanbag chair thing going on. Uh, I like to be sure to get rid of my mesh smooth until I'm completely done because it can cause some uh, some some viewport uh, issues and bugs. Uh, your your where it'll stop showing the animation and you have to get rid of that uh, in order to continue on. So we'll add that on to make sure everything smooths out again once we're completely finished. Uh, now that I've got a cushion in its relaxed state happening here, I can come back up here and turn my Mass Effects rigid body uh, back on on my cube. And uh, we can do things like, uh, you know, start our simulation and see what's going on. And now we're getting this, yo, know, gosh, that thing's uh, a little heavy. We've got a super solid square heavy right down in the middle of it. And we get some, some kind of fun uh, smashed air mattress. Like when, you, when you're sleeping on an air mattress and you can't, uh, can't refill it during the night. And by the end of the night, your butt's sitting on the floor. Yeah, kind of thing going on here. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, undo that and uh, shake things back out. Uh, and at this point, we can take a look at our class settings here. Uh, I might want to, if, if our density was 5, I can kind of multiply it by 100 there. We can push up the density to about 500, maybe push up the do the push number, it's say 25 down here, uh, just like we did in our M cloth basics. Uh, and we can see if that's going to you know help any at all. And oh, there we go. Now we got some super glide going on as uh, as our cube kind of takes over there. Uh, a shake of that will stop it. You know, I didn't bake it. I'm just simulating just to see how things are going for right now. And uh, not too bad. Other thing that we have here to do, you know, I can maybe reduce that 
slightly for the push uh, and uh, we can just kind of get something a little bit uh, oh see it's starting to get sticky situations it's starting to poke through and cause some some holy cow issues going on here but that's alright we'll turn that off and shake things out uh, let's bump that up a little higher 50 and a density of 500 that works we also got these sharp corners poking through something really round and soft so we're gonna have probably some other things to contend with uh, as well uh, we can also try maybe adding a little bit of stretchiness uh, turn that ortho bending back on and, and see how we can get some of our behaviors to change a little bit uh, I might increase the pressure slightly uh, 0.65 to 0.75 and then we get something, there we go, that's a little bit more like what I was kind of hoping for there uh, happening and we can just kind of go back and shake that out since all we did was the, the simulate rather than bake uh, if you did bake it all you had to do is hit the unbake all and everything goes back to normal other things we can do with this is really kind of fun uh, let's say I, I drag down to about frame 30 and I turn my auto key on here uh, I'll set a keyframe Okay, we, we won't set a keyframe. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. Our pressure was. We'll do it to 0.75 here, and then whatever it put up here, we can get rid of so that it remains 0.75 pressure until here, and then over. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's make it nice and fast and crazy. Uh, over five frames, we can increase the pressure. Uh, let's start with two. Uh, in other words, 200% air which means if this is more like a balloon it's going to stretch to 200 percent its normal volume uh, and we'll see what happens when I actually start my simulation from here it will fall like normal and oh then it kind of inflates and it doesn't really kick up as much as I had hoped uh, so we'll stop that we can also uh, let's say increase our or decrease the weight here if I make this lighter uh, we can try that initially. Oh, and there we go. That's what I was kind of hoping for. We get shot off into space there instead. Uh, so if I if I like that, uh, sadly we can't go back and play it again unless we bake all. Boing. There we are, and we get a nice inflating balloon that kind of kicks back that lighter weight object, and so we can have all kinds of rather fun and interesting. Uh, reactions and interactions between rigid body shapes as well as uh, our soft body M cloth shapes. Let's unbake all there. Uh, and uh, we can do a couple of, one more little fun thing here before I let you go. And I'm going to get rid of our rigid body object. Uh, I'm actually going to turn the pressure, let's get rid of our keyframes down here. I want to turn the pressure to zero. And I'm going to start my simulation, and we're going to see this cloth kind of spring together with no pressure whatsoever in this thing. And we'll let it settle. And then maybe I'll start with my capture initial state there, and uh, go back to the beginning. Again, uh, we've got some jagged lines. We've got a few intersections as well, but if we uh, smooth some of these out, then we get like a, just a lump of... Uh, rubber cloth in the center here uh, and we can do some other sh uh, fun things with our animation we'll come back and add that mesh smooth later on uh, if that's a little less to my liking uh, perhaps we can undo and kept our initial state that's the only problem with our initial state button is that uh, once you've hit it uh, there's not much going back uh, we can try uh, let's say giving our guy a little bit of balloon pressure there so that it kind of tries to push back out on itself and you can let it kind of try to work some of those kinks out on their own we'll, we'll go ahead and say that capture initial state uh, if you want it all back complete we might be able to do our 0.5 you can raise it to 1 and get that full shape back out there we go and then maybe we'll lower it to 0.3 get a little bit of an extra spring that's more like what I wanted something fully deflated but not crossing over any boundaries that it shouldn't there we go let's do that capture initial state and uh, and there we'll have it we'll leave that one and put this back 
Now, we can also animate all these other values here. And so if we're going to play with inflating a balloon, we might as well do it properly and have this balloon take off, uh, inflate itself, and, and take off over a, a period of time. Uh, let's say not till frame 10, I've turned my auto key on, and uh, I want to go ahead and make sure that I have my point three. 0 0.31, 0 0.3, I'll just kind of change the value a little bit to to get a different uh, solid start for our keyframe. And I can just get rid of that one. And let's say over a lengthier amount of time, uh, we can blow this balloon up to that, uh, let's say, 1.5 pressure. So it's uh, got a little bit more air in it than it does regular volume. It'll stretch out a little bit, but not crazy. And uh, then from here, we can actually adjust uh, this gravity scale number in our M cloth uh, to maybe not only inflate our balloon, but uh, have it uh, turn lighter than air here. Uh, it's going to inflate between 10 and 50, so let's try about uh, 55 there. Uh, we'll go ahead and, with our auto key still on, uh, I like to just kind of, you know, maybe 1.1 and then 1.0, just kind of change it and then change it back real quick because it gets me a keyframe in, in two locations here. I'll just delete the first one so that it starts between frame 0 and 55 at 1.0. Between frame 55 and 60, we can drop that scale down as uh, far as it goes to zero. No more gravity. Goodbye gravity. Uh, and then turn on our auto key. We might need to give ourselves a few more frames here as well. Let's jump it up to 200 so that it's got time to actually uh, rise there a little bit. Uh, we can also, you know, play around with uh, our initial offset gravities if it doesn't rise quite as quick as we'd like. Uh, we can make uh, our, our initial gravity only uh, maybe a 1.0 or a 100, negative 100 here. Uh, and then with our auto key, we can change, you know, from here, whereas the gravity scale would be uh, maybe at a three times its normal to get it back up to that 300 or or, or even 400 or 3.86 to get it to that initial default gravity and then go to zero at frame 60 again. So there's all kinds of uh, leeway and room that we can work with this uh, to get some different results. Let's go ahead and bake and see what happens. Balloon inflates and takes off floating. All right, there we have it. Uh, you know, turn the gravity back on halfway as the balloon starts floating up. Uh, throw something solid at it, uh, another cloth object at it, and you can have some uh, some rather interesting interactions with our Mass Effects and the M cloth modifier.